In an unprecedented move today, the DEA says it may ease restrictions on marijuana. It is expected to reclassify the drug, removing it from the same category as heroin and other so-called hard drugs. But does that mean change is on the way for marijuana laws in Kansas? Well, KSN's Craig Andrus is here to explain. Craig? Okay, first, this is a historic shift for the Drug Enforcement Administration considering declassifying marijuana as a lesser drug. But even if it happens, the move would have to be considered by the White House on the federal level. If it happens, don't expect legal marijuana everywhere. It is still illegal. It's a hot topic issue. Uh, of course, from a law enforcement side, we're not uh, going to ever support the legalization of marijuana because we know what else it leads to. Sedgwick County Sheriff Jeff Easter says coming out against making marijuana legal in Kansas still an easy choice, even though it's legal in Colorado and Missouri. It is being sold here in Kansas. You know, when we find pounds of it, I mean, it's black market stuff that's coming here to be sold on the streets. He also says it's the strength of the marijuana being sold on the streets that's concerning, with extremely high concentrations of THC. Still with a DEA, possibly considering a change to make the drug classified as a less serious one, there remain a lot of legal questions. Now, if it's reclassified, that in itself may bring about some leniency in federal sentencing makes good sense. Right now, it's lumped in with heroin and LSD as a substance with a high potential for abuse. Dan Monop, meanwhile, says more individual states could take a look at their marijuana laws if it's declassified as a dangerous drug by the DEA. But he says we're still a long way from making it legal, both on the state and federal levels, and drug convictions will still stand. Even if adopted, it is hardly going to throw open wide the doors of the penitentiary. Also, this is a potential federal reclassification with the DEA. It's not a done deal yet. Still, this does represent a big shift from the stance taken for years by the DEA. Here for you, Craig Andrus, KSN News 3.